Hello, I'm Daryl Butler, Regional Technical Manager for Tama Oceania. Today we're here to go through some pre-season rapid checks. Okay, we're just going to measure the um, pre-stretch, how much the film's being stretched. So we just put two lines 10 centimetres apart on the roll. So 10 centimetres apart, the two lines. Now we'll stretch that onto the bale and re-measure. So we just re-measure that and that's at 17 centimetres, which is 70% stretch on this particular wrapper. All good. Now we're just going to count the revolutions um, as it's being wrapped. So that was seven revolutions to cover the bale fully once. So to get your minimum of four layers, we would then plus one, which is eight, and double it would be 16 revolutions for four layers on this particular bale. So here we're just measuring the neck down of the film. It starts at 750 millimetres and it necks down once it's been stretched and this occasion it's at 590 millimetres. It must be between 580 and 620. So in this case it's spot on. Just talking about the importance of 70% stretch um, we guarantee all our films at 70% and the reason is because you're wrapping a curved bale It's not a straight surface. The middle part of the film is going on very tight But the edges of, of the film take longer to be in contact with the bale So therefore they're a bit looser and they're not going on at the same stretch as through the middle of the film So by stretching at 70% you get a tighter seal here and a tighter seal over the whole bale for higher quality silage so it's important with your film set up that you're wrapping through the middle of the bale just like on this occasion. If you wrap through the middle of the bale to start, you will then get your 50% overlap and get your correct layers. If you don't think you're wrapping through the middle of the bale, you can adjust the mast height here where the pre-stretch unit is. They are different for different machines, but you can adjust the mast height to get the film going through the middle of the bale for that first layer. So we get asked when you're wrapping that you get air bubbles in the film like this. That is actually a good thing. It shows the qu uh, quality plastic um, keeping the oxygen permeability and keeps the air out. That bubbles will, or the air will eventually get used up, but that actually is a good thing 